coming to the first question in figure 10.36 ab and c are three points on the circle with center o such that angle boc is equal to 30 degrees and angle aob is equal to 60 degrees if d is a point on circle other than the arc abc find angle adc now moving on to the solution here he has given that abc or three points on the circle and here he also given two angles that is angle aob is equal to 60 degrees and angle boc is equal to 30 degrees now let us consider arc ac therefore here angle subtended by arc at the center is angle aoc which is nothing but angle aob plus angle boc which is equal to 60 degrees plus 30 degrees that is nothing but 90 degrees now as d is a point on the circle angle adc will be angle subtended by arc AC at point on the circle. We know that angle subtended by the arc at the center is two times angle subtended by the arc at any point. Therefore here angle subtended by the arc at the center that is nothing but angle AOC will be equal to two times angle subtended by the arc at any point on the circle that is angle ADC which implies we got angle AOC as 90 degrees which is equal to 2 times angle ADC which implies angle ADC is equal to 90 degrees by 2 which is 45 degrees therefore angle ADC is equal to 45 degrees moving on to second question a chord of circle is equal to the radius of circle Find the angle subtended by chord at a point on the minor arc and also the point on the major arc. Now moving on to the solution. Let us consider a circle with center O and AB as the chord as shown in figure. So here AB is the chord and that is equal to the radius of circle. Let us join here OA and OB. We know that OA is equal to OB which is also equal to radius of circle. As here chord length is also equal to radius of circle we can say here OA is equal to OB is equal to AB. Therefore here we can say that OAB forms a equilateral triangle. Therefore Angle subtended by the chord AB at the center is nothing but 60 degrees. Therefore, angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. Let us consider a point C on the major arc of the chord AB and point D on the minor arc of chord AB. And let us join AC and also BC and also let us join AD and BD. If we consider AB as an arc, angle subtended by it at center is 60 degrees. Now in order to find the angle subtended by the chord at the C that is point on the major arc of the circle or major arc of the chord we have that angle subtended by the any chord or any arc at the center is 2 times the angle subtended by it on any point of the circle therefore here 2 times angle ACB will be equal to angle AOB that implies angle ACB is equal to 
half times angle AOB which is nothing but 60 degrees that is equal to 30 degrees therefore angles obtained by chord at a point on major arc is 30 degrees now if we consider the figure here ACBD forms a cyclic quadrilateral since it is completely enclosed in the circle we know that in the cyclic quadrilateral sum of opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees we can say here angle ACB plus angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees that implies now here we get angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees minus angle ACB that is equal to 180 degrees minus angle ACB is nothing but 30 degrees which we found in the above that is equal to 180 minus 30 is nothing but 150 degrees therefore angle subtended by chord AB in the minor axis in the minor arc is 150 degrees moving on to third question in figure 10.37 angle pqr is equal to 100 degrees where p q and r are points and circle with center o find angle opr now moving on to the solution let us consider a point s on the circle now moving on to solution let us consider a point s on the circle such that the quadrilateral PQRS will form a cyclic quadrilateral by considering the point S on the circle join PS and RS then PQRS forms a cyclic quadrilateral in cyclic quadrilateral we know that sum of opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees here we can say angle PQR plus angle PSR is equal to 180 degrees that implies PQR here is given as 100 degrees plus angle PSR is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle PSR is equal to 180 minus 100 that is 80 degrees so let us here mention the angle as 80 degrees now let us find the angle at the center O. We know that angle subtended by the arc at the point on the circle is half times the angle subtended by the same arc at the center or else we can say that angle subtended by the arc at the center is two times the angle subtended by the arc at any point on the circle. Therefore here we can say that angle POR is equal to 2 times angle PSR which is equal to 2 times angle PSR here is 80 degrees that is equal to 160 degrees therefore here we got the angle PORR as 160 degrees now if we consider triangle PORR now here in triangle PORR OP is equal to OR since it is a radius Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Therefore, we can say that angle OPR is equal to angle ORP. But we know that sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. We can say here angle OPR plus angle POR plus angle ORP is equal to 180 degrees that implies let angle OPR remain as it is plus angle POR is nothing but 160 degrees plus angle ORP is nothing but angle OPR which is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle OPR plus angle OPR is 2 times angle OPR is equal to let us send this 180, 160 to right hand side then we get the right hand side as 180 minus 160 degrees which is 20 degrees 
that implies angle OPR is equal to 20 degrees by 2 that is equal to 10 degrees therefore finally we can say that angle OPR is equal to 10 degrees coming to the fourth question in figure 10.38 angle ABC is equal to 69 degrees angle ACB is equal to 31 degrees find angle BDC now moving on to the solution here he has given a circle in this ABC angle is given as 69 degrees and ACB angle is given as 31 degrees now let us consider in triangle ABC sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees therefore we get angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees that implies we know angle ABC as 69 degrees plus angle ACB as 31 degrees plus angle BAC let us find which is equal to 180 degrees that implies 69 plus 39 31 69 plus 31 degrees is nothing but 100 degrees plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle BAC is equal to 180 minus 100 which is nothing but 80 degrees therefore here what we got angle A as 80 degrees now if we consider angle BAC and angle BDC these are angles made by same arc BC therefore we can say that angle made by the same arc is equal here angle BAC will be equal to angle BDC but we got angle BAC is equal to 80 degrees therefore we can say angle BDC is equal to 80 degrees this is what the solution coming to the fifth question in figure 10.39 ABC and D are four points on the circle AC and BD intersect at a point E such that angle BEC is equal to 180 degrees and angle ECD is equal to 20 degrees find angle BAC now moving on to the solution now here he has given angle BEC is equal to 130 degrees so in order to find BAC let us initially find angle CED as angle BEC and angle CED will form a linear pair thereby we get the angle CED now by applying the concept that sum of angles in a triangle now by applying the concept that sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees we can get here angle EDC and now here angle EDC and angle BAC are the two angles in the same segment that is BAC segment or else angle BAC and angle EDC are the two angles formed by same arc BC which will be equal now let us follow the procedure as told so here he has given that angle BEC is equal to 130 degrees and angle ECD is equal to 20 degrees now in triangle ECD by applying the concept that sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees we can say angle EDC plus angle DCE plus angle CED is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle EDC is let us find it plus angle DCE is given as 20 degrees plus angle CED is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle EDC plus 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus angle CED now if we consider angle CED and angle BEC these form the linear pair therefore we can say that sum of angles which form a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees angle BEC plus angle CED is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle EDC plus 20 degrees is equal to 
180 minus CED here will be nothing but angle BEC that is nothing but 130 degrees which implies angle EDC is equal to 130 degrees minus 20 degrees which is 110 degrees therefore here we got angle EDC as 110 degrees now if we consider angle EDC and angle BAC these are formed by same arc BC therefore we can say that angles formed by same arc will be equal angle EDC is equal to angle BAC that is equal to 110 degrees therefore here we got angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees coming to your sixth question ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at point E if angle DBC is equal to 70 degrees angle BAC is equal to 30 degrees find angle BCD further if AB is equal to BC find angle ECD now moving on to the solution let us consider a cyclic quadrilateral as shown in figure that is ABCD with diagonals AC and BD intersecting at point E here he has given that angle DBC is equal to 70 degrees angle BAC is equal to 30 degrees so let us represent them in the figure we get angle DBC here is 70 degrees angle BAC that is here is 30 degrees we need to find if AB is equal to BC let us represent what is angle ECD here he has given that AB is equal to BC so we can say that arc AB will be equal to arc BC so that here we can say that arc AB and arc BC are same therefore if we consider angle CDB will be equal to angle BAE or BAC since they are the angle formed by arc of same length that is angle BAC is equal to angle CDB since they are the angles formed by length of same arc that implies angle CDB is equal to angle BAC which is nothing but 30 degrees so here we got angle CDB as 30 degrees now if we consider in triangle BCD sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees therefore we can say that angle EBC plus angle BCD plus angle CDB is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle EBC is nothing but 70 degrees plus angle BCD which we need to find plus angle CDB we got it as 30 degrees that is equal to 180 degrees which implies 70 plus 30 is nothing but 100 here so angle BCD plus 100 degrees is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle BCD is equal to 180 minus 100 which is 80 degrees now if we consider in triangle ABC AB is equal to BC therefore it is an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle angle opposite to equal sides are always equal therefore here we can say that angle BAC will be equal to angle BCA therefore we get angle BCA here as 30 degrees so here we can say that angle BCA is equal to 30 degrees now we do we need to find angle ECD if we observe the figure clearly we got the angle BCD as 80 degrees and we have here angle BCE as 30 degrees 
we need to find angle EDC. Therefore, here we can write that angle BCD is equal to angle BCA plus angle ECD. That implies angle BCD here is nothing but 80 degrees that is equal to angle BCA here is nothing but 30 degrees plus angle ECD that implies angle ECD is equal to 80 degrees minus 30 degrees which is nothing but 50 degrees now moving to a seventh question if diagonals of cyclic quadrilateral or diameters of the circle through the vertices of the quadrilateral prove that it is a rectangle now moving on to the solution let us consider a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals are intersecting at point E that is AC and BD diagonals are here the diameters of the circle now we need to prove that ABCD is a rectangle in order to prove that initially let us consider both the triangles that is triangle AED and triangle BEC in these both triangles we can say that EB is equal to ED since these are the radii of the circle and also AE will be equal to EC because they are also the radii of the circle and we can say angle AED is equal to angle BEC since they are the vertically opposite angles about the common point E which will be equal always therefore now by SAS property of congruency we can say that both the triangles are congruent that is triangle AED is congruent to triangle BEC we know that when two triangles are congruent their corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal therefore here let us equate the corresponding sides that is AD is equal to BC therefore we can say that here arc length AD will be equal to arc length BC similarly now by considering the triangle AEB and CED we can prove that triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CED and thereby applying the concept that corresponding sides of the congruent triangles are equal we can say AB is equal to DC therefore similarly here we can write AB is equal to CD that is nothing but arc length AB is equal to arc length CD now let, let us name it as equation number 1 and let us name it as equation number 2 now by adding 1 and 2 we get arc AD plus arc AB is equal to arc BC plus arc CD now if we observe in the figure arc AD plus arc AB is arc BD that we can write it as arc BAD is equal to arc BC plus arc CD is arc BCD now here we can say that BD is dividing circle into two equal arcs therefore angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 90 degrees because here as BD is dividing the circle into two equal halves we can say here BCD arc and BAD arc is forming a semicircle therefore 
we know that angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees here angle a is equal to angle c is equal to 90 degrees similarly we get angle b is equal to angle d is equal to 90 degrees we got all the angles are equal to 90 degrees and opposite sides are equal in a quadrilateral therefore we can say that given quadrilateral ABCD is a rectangle.